John Cressman with MonkeyUncle.com, and this is part two of our vertical shooter tutorial in Game Salad. Uh, if you've been following along with part one, then you should have a project similar to this. If not, you can download it from our website, MonkeyUncle.com. We're going to add some on screen controls. When we left, we had added keyboard controls so that we could move our plane with the keyboard. We're going to go ahead and add those on-screen controls since obviously on a mobile device you won't have a keyboard. So go ahead and go to actors and we're going to create the actors first. So create three actors. We're going to call this HUD, heads up display. And we're going to call this one left. right and this final one we're going to call HUD button 1 and that's going to be our fire button now to make these work correctly what we need to do is we need to go into uh, our scene here and under game make sure game is selected and attributes we're going to add some attributes now these are going to be boolean attributes and we're going to create three of them. And those are going to correspond to our movement directions. So we're going to call this one move left, move right, and the final one we're just going to call button one. And now let's go back to our actors. And we need to go ahead and give them behaviors. And remember to save often. Now before we go into the behaviors, we're going to come into the on-screen controls. And uh, we're going to go into the line light. And if you just go in here, you can browse through them. And what we're going to do is we're going to find a Leaner. Let's say we're going to go an arrow. There we go. So we have an arrow here pointing to the left. We're going to drag this over. All right. And we're going to go ahead and move this back because we're going to use it for the right. Now we're going to double click and just find out the size of this. So you go back to tools, adjust size, and you should see that it's 80 by 80. So we're actually going to use that resolution, 80 by 80, and that way it's not stretching or minimizing it. And now we're going to add a behavior. Now if you remember correctly, we added a key behavior before, but this button, this left button, is going to do just one task. When we touch it, and that touch is inside, we're going to do something and that is we're going to change an attribute the attribute we created early earlier which is game move left we're going to set that to true now when it's not pressed again we're going to do alter option and copy this down we're going to change it to false so when they touch it move left becomes true when they're not touching it move left becomes false so let's go back to home and the actors we're going to go to HUD right now we should see it should be this next one here we're going to drag that over change the size to 80 by 80 and now we're going to add our rule It's touched when the touch is inside we're going to once again change that attribute but this time it's move right to true and now 
option and drag down and change that to false. Let's go ahead and save that, make sure we have it. And now we're going to go back to home and actors and button one. Now this is the fire button. So we're just going to use the star here. Again, change the size to 80 by 80. Create a rule when it's touched. Touches inside. Same thing as before, only this time. Game attribute button one changes to true. And down here, game one button one turns to false. There we go. So now we have our rules here for each of the buttons. We're going to go back to our scene. That's our play scene, if you remember. And we're going to go ahead and place those buttons. So I'm going to drag them on. They're pretty big for this size resolution. We could actually reduce them to 40 by 40, but for our testing purposes, they'll be just fine. Now, because we move these buttons down, I'm actually going to move the player up so it doesn't interfere. All right. I'm going to go ahead and save it. Now, this time, I'm actually going to do a save as. I'm going to change this to Vertical Shooter 2. All right. So, let's go ahead and preview. And we're going to hit these buttons and... Hmm, how about that? They don't do anything. The keys work, but pressing these buttons do absolutely nothing. That's because even though we set that attribute, if you remember correctly from our last time, in the player actor we set our right and left movement based on keys. Now instead of doing that, we're going to just change this to an attribute. So when this attribute and this is moving left when our sorry we're in game move left is true now we can go ahead and remove this attribute then we move him left we're going to do the same thing down here when the attribute game move right is true we move them right. Now you might notice that we got rid of the keyboard commands, but we're going to add those in later. But for now, let's just go ahead and give that a test. Yep. As you can see, we can move right and left. Now we need to go ahead and add one more actor. We're going to call this actor keyboard controller. This will be an actor that we put it there, but no one will see it. But it's going to do some things for us. Some things that we were doing in the player actor before, and that is keeping track of the keys. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a change attribute. And we're going to change the keyboard controller, that's this actor, color alpha to zero. And what that does is it will effectively make it invisible. Right, and that way we can place it, we'll see it in our preview, but as soon as we run or preview, we will actually, it'll actually become invisible. So what we wanted to do is we're going to create our rule. And we're going to once again do the key. I remember I told you sometimes it has issues with the key, so we're just going to change this to the A key. So when A is down, remember that is left. We're going to add our change attribute and we're going to change game. And before we were just changing within the player actor, we were actually changing the speed of the actor, the velocity X, either positive or negative. Now we have this move left, which we're going to set instead. So I'm going to drag this down. So when the A key is pressed, 
the move left becomes true when it's not being pressed it becomes false now we're going to copy this I'm going to change that to right and I come in here I'm going to change both these attributes to move right there's just a little bit of shorthand we could actually reproduce it but this is a little bit faster again I'm going to save this change that keyboard to D go ahead and save it so now we have our right and our left the only other thing we need to do is we need to recreate button one which is going to be our fire button eventually so let's go ahead and replicate this rule and this time I'm going to come in here I'm going to say button one and we're going to sign button one again I'm going to save it I can't emphasize how important saving often is keyboard and space so our space bar when we're testing and game salad quit unexpectedly I did tell you so we're going to come back in here in game salad file open and we're going to come down all the way down to the bottom our vertical scroller two into our keyboard controller and luckily we didn't lose much and there's our space a file save and go ahead and preview and hit start I'm gonna hit the A key and the D key and right now they're not doing anything and that's because we haven't placed the actor on the screen the keyboard controller and we can place that literally anywhere I'm gonna place it right up here at the top and now we're gonna preview I'm gonna use the A and the D keys and we can move around and we can also use our on-screen controls as well and that is the end of lesson two in lesson three we're going to be adding some lasers and using this button one that we added this episode we'll see you next time this is john crespin from monkeyuncle.com